It's story time with your boy. Listen, I'm not an expert. I'm an enthusiast. I'm somebody who likes to make content entertain, most of all make you laugh and really think and find other resources to buy shit. Now, sometimes I jump the gun, whether it be just to make content or to upgrade myself, and I have an upgrade that lately I've been kind of regretting doing and I kind of want to share that story with you. So let's roll my motherfucking music because I'm tired of looking at my reflection because my paleness is reminding me of Casper asshole and it's bothering me. I'm kind of a big deal. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Now, I've done a couple of upgrades. One of my most popular videos is my first purchase of a real Miami Cuban link from Daniel Jewelry. And that was my 7mm 24 inch daily wear Miami Cuban. And that was a great fucking chain. Until this day, I still recommend to people who are, you know, of smaller stature or circus midgets like myself that that is a great daily wear size. 7mm, 8mm, I think are great daily wear size. And 24 inches was my go-to length. It was the length that I've always worn and it was just my shit. 22 is too short and I never really owned a 26. So from that seven millimeter, I upgraded to a nine millimeter that you all know because it's been in a thousand videos, nine millimeter, 24 inch Miami Cuban link. And from that nine millimeter, 24 inch Miami Cuban. And from that nine millimeter, I went almost to 9.5, 26 inch. Miami Cuban link, which is my current Miami Cuban link from Daniels. Now, we all know the chain, you know what it looks like. I'm not gonna do, it's not a hang straight test fucking bullshit. What we're gonna talk about is me jumping the gun. So in traditional Cuba fashion, I hit up Daniels and I was like, yo, I'm gonna do an upgrade, bro. Let's do the 26 inch, let's make it a little beefier, bet. All shit's done. I got the chain, I fucking love the chain. It's exactly what I wanted. And it's the length that I wanted, 26 inches. It was more length than width than anything, right? So here we go. Now, <clears throat> I've said in multiple videos that 26 inches is pretty much a perfect length. And it might be, but I think I jumped the gun that it might not be perfect for me. It's only perfect in certain circumstances like this. No charm, no pendant, never planning to put a pendant on it and just have it chilling. I think 26 is still solid. But the times that I do wanna wear my beefy pendant, situation changes. The shit looks too long because the pendant just drags it down a little bit. Let's say an inch, just to throw it out there. I'm not a fucking mathematician or measure these shits, but let's say an inch. So it pulls it down from a 26 to a 26 and a half, almost 27 inches. Now it looks a little bit long and a little bit too ratchet for me, especially when I'm deciding what type of outfits. Now, if I'm gonna throw on a hoodie, cause it's hoodie season and I love me a good fucking hoodie, then it looks side depending on the outfit, but sometimes it just looks a little bit too much. Now, is it the size of the chain and the pendant, that might be. I didn't have the security for multiple outfits or multiple wears that I do with this if I wanna wear a pendant. Without the pendant, I'm chilling. The point being is that maybe I should have just stayed with 24 and have that 24 and a half that the pendant does when it tugs on the chain a little bit. And it had already the look that I thought I didn't have, but I really did, and now I have more than I wanted. Could I have ordered a 25? Sure, but I've never gone mid sizes personally. I've never gone 21 or 25 inch. Moral of the story is that I kind of regret this shit getting it 26 inches when really 24 with a pendant was perfect. So 26 inches lands right here, right in between my man tits, and it's really a dope length without a pendant. I do like to wear my pendant. My pendant is beautiful. It's custom, it's expensive, and sometimes I just wanna flex it, right? So when I go ahead and put the pendant on, then the game switches up a little bit. Then it gives me limited accessibility on the type of outfits that I wanna rock that day. It's catered more to my urban fresh rather than trying to get all swagtastic, you know what I mean? Like hoodies, jeans, Tims, Air Force Ones, Jordans, whatever, then this would go if I'm going for that appeal. But if I'm dressing it up a little bit, it's too much, especially with the pendant. You can see that it's now off the screen. It's dropped a little bit from my man tits. It's a little bit too much. In this case, I'm politicking chopping it back down to 24. I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but I might. And this is just a little bit of a story time. Make sure you take your height into consideration. Make sure you take different outfits into consideration. Make sure you take your daily wear situation into consideration because 
all those factors are gonna play a role. You're a bigger dude, you know, 300 pounds, six foot plus, 26 might fit you like a 24. Just a little bit of a story time. I know it's been a little bit of a rant, but just giving you some real life shit. It's not all positive, it's not all amazing. There are circumstances that you pull the trigger on something and it didn't turn out to be what you wanted it to be. And in this case, that's what it is. So, you know, who knows in the future, this 26 might just go back down to a 24. I appreciate you guys watching this fucking rant. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, Kuba underscore knows underscore jewelry, you're missing out because daddy's been doing some raffles and we had some winners. Motherfuckers is leaving with prizes, spending 50 bucks, 20 bucks. It's outstanding. Some of the shit that I'm gonna be dropping is stupid. More details are on my Instagram. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is the biggest in the game? Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Tell them. Who I am? For the fly gun, hold up, money, fold up, on the roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Oh. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>